Financial accounting. Are you ready? We're going to do the debit and credit rules and hopefully it'll make a whole lot of sense to you. Now we've talked about in the accounting um, cycle or the bookkeeping cycle, um, we want to record transactions. In other words, gives and gets. And we do this by making a journal entry or a transaction. And we said that to make a complete sentence, we need a debit and we need a credit. So instead of speaking in English, we're going to speak in accounting because it is the language of business. So how are we going to do this? Well, we talked about the T accounts and we said the T accounts, the left side is the debit side and the right side is the credit side. So when we talk about debits and credits, lefts are debits, rights are credits. Got it? Now, I am going to start a business. Hmm. We're in accounting, right? And you have to do homework, right? So I know some of you are very entrepreneurial in nature and you've decided to start a homework corporation. Now to start a homework corporation, you would take your personal resources and we're going to have a whole different organization which is your homework corporation. So to transfer your personal resources to the corporation, what are we going to do individually? Well, we're going to give the corporation cash. So will the corporation's cash go up? Yeah. And what is the corporation going to give me in exchange? It's going to give me stock. So let's look at it from the corporation standpoint. When the corporation gets cash, we know that cash is an asset. And that cash asset is increasing. Now, we increase assets by debits. So debits mean we're increasing cash or any other asset account. You're saying, how am I going to remember this? Well, when, you, when the corporation gets cash, what does it immediately do? It takes that cash down to the bank and what? deposits it in the business. Notice that D for debit and deposit is a D. So when I deposit money in the bank, that's a debit. So cash is increasing. Now that's only part of the thought. The corporation is getting cash, debit cash, and it's giving stock. And we know that common stock is a stockholder's equity account, right? And stockholders' equity is also increasing, isn't it? Because we know that this accounting equation has to stay in balance. So if the assets go up, then something over here needs to increase as well. So stock is increasing. But we know that debits equal credits, so that means that if a debit increases assets, then a credit must increase the stock. So when I look at my debit credit rules for stockholders equity, credits are going to increase stockholders equity. Okay, you're saying, hmm, I don't know about this. Well, let's think about it this way. If I am a corporation and I pay a dividend to those stockholders, say I pay them a cash dividend, do I write those stockholders a check? Yeah. And is my cash going down? Yeah. So do you see that check and credit both start with C? Hmm. So if I pay my stockholders a dividend, notice I have to credit cash because the cash is re being reduced. And I am going to debit stockholders' equity because by paying a dividend, isn't the ownership going down? Yeah. So notice that debits increase assets, credits decrease assets, and over here in stockholders' equity, debits decrease stockholders' equity accounts like dividends, and stockholders' equity is increased like common stock when I Sell, uh, sell stock by credits. So those are the first 
two debit credit rules. 